Hello, 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 hello. It's um, Stephen Hammer here from Sherams Online. I'm going to let Emma talk to you for a minute while I set the other um, the other tablet up. Mmm. Well, I'm just having a cup of tea at the moment, so uh, just bear very, with us. Very show business, isn't it? Yeah. Now, if you're hearing us okay, give us a thumbs up just so we know the audio is working okay. We're very glad you joined us. Yeah. Say hello if you're there. Oh, here we are. You're just sorting it out, that's all. Well, it's very important do it. It's very important doing this, you know. Um, just bear with us. You know what it's like when we get things started. Um, um, just bear with us. You know what it's like when we get things started. Um, that's it, right. Okay, I'm just getting it sorted, right. Okay, if you can hear us okay, guys, um, give us a thumbs up, um, just so we know the audio is nice and clear and we're not wasting our time. Okay. Right. Know what it's like. Don't worry about this. Right. Okay. That's it, that's it. Hello everybody, it's Stephen Emma here from Showrooms Online. Thank you for joining us on another Q&A session. I bet you couldn't wait for the next one, could you? Hey, well we've been looking at all your questions that you've been sending us over the last, uh, God, how long? Um, there's God, been a lot. There's been a lot of different questions and stuff like that. So, um, you know, and you know we've been busy. We've been adding videos all the time, haven't we? We have. So, uh, been on a few trips. We we have we have actually, and uh, we're in the middle of a special at the moment, which mm -hmm. we're we're videoing at the moment. Um, so uh, let's uh, let's I'm just looking at what's coming due. So, uh, Laura Jenkins. Hello. Hello, Laura. <laughs> very nice. Yep. So we're we're very busy at the moment, aren't we? Yeah. Um, but we do want to talk a little bit about some of the what wh where we've been and what we've been doing. Um. So we've just uploaded the, I think we've more or less, I think we've got two more houses um, for our Bedfordshire special, haven't we? Yeah, Bickleswade. Um, yes. So we were in and about around Bickleswade. Um, so on on that trip, we've um, we've bought you Keir Homes, Tall Trees, and we've bought you Taylor Wimpy, um, and that was Saxon Fields, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. With the Langdale and, what was the other one called? Gosford. Gosford, the Langdale and Gosford, um, and then we also brought you, and we've also got now. We've, all, I think, we've already bought you the Blore one as well from from that site. But we've also got two Bellways coming, yeah. and we've got a uh, first time first time on the channel um, a Martin Grant Holmes mm. house, which mm. was which is quite nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and that 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 was quite an. And it's been I like I like the Bedford uh, going into Bedfordshire. It was, it was a good change. Yeah, yeah. So we've got some really good good houses there. We've been currently working on a Cheshire special, haven't we? We have. We started it. Yeah. Um, and that's been quite an interesting, uh, an interesting trip around. So we. Uh, I mean, Cheshire's a massive county, isn't it? It's I'm, massive, and yeah. there's so much going on there. Hey. So we're going hi, to Graham. How are you doing? You all right? Um, yeah, Cheshire is a big Cheshire is a big area. I mean, that's probably one of the biggest counties. I mean, we, it it spans almost right down um, in sort of into Crewe, right across to Macclesfield, and even as far as just on the edge of Merseyside. So it's a big area. Um, and what we try to, we, I know a lot of people you contact us and say, um, can we go to certain areas? Um, hi, Sonia. Um, I know a lot of people say you know go to certain areas and stuff but you know it's we have to make it we have to visit these places systematically don't we yeah. you know so that's why we're working on the on our Cheshire special at the moment so we've already videoed oh we can't say it's a surprise <laughs> we've already videoed um how many did we do last when was it sat Monday Monday was it Monday yeah Yes, it was on Monday. I always try to go on a Monday because it's quieter, isn't it? So you haven't really got any show home interruptions, have we? Mm -hmm. So what did you what did you think of the the show homes that we've we've done so far? Some nice ones. Yeah, 
Um, we, we can say what developers we've looked oh, at. Oh, no. We can. We've, we'll be promoting them anyway. I know, but it's a nice surprise, I think, when they come on. Well, I'm not it? saying what house types. I will say what developers, though. Go on, then. Yeah. Well, um, we, we, we visited Morris Homes and we did three fantastic show homes um, mm -hmm. at, at Winnington Village. Really nice. These, you always, what, what did you think of the Morris ones? That the gardens were very overgrown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually. We've been there a long time. I'd struggled to take photographs of them because the front gardens were so <laughs> dense. <laughs> were. It looked like they'd been there for 10 years. Yeah, I, just a I mean, having a show home where you can't even see out yeah, of the window. Yeah, you couldn't see out of the lounge window. Yeah, we don't get that, you don't get that every often. Yeah. We're going to try and read some of your comments as we, as we, as we come through. Um, um, Carly, uh, Carly Bevan says, Hi guys, been watching you for a while on YouTube. Find your videos very informative. Great. Well, thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> that, yeah. That's the um, the point of it. Hi Stephen, how are you? Um, Stephen and Louise there. Yeah. You guys, if you don't mind, when you do you do pop some on there, a little comment, tell us where you're from. So we know how far how far yeah, from in the country that we're useful. actually yeah. we're actually from. Um, thank you, Leanne. <laughs> But as we were saying, back to back to Morris Homes. Um, you know, we've only got a couple of their houses on the channel, um, and mm. I think they were down in Banbury that way. Um, and I just think Morris Homes look very. And actually, one of them is a variation of one that we've already got. It's just yeah. a different type. But they are amazingly furnished, aren't they? Beautiful, beautiful, yes. grown almost grown up houses, aren't they? Very nice. Yeah, very grown up houses. If you guys got any questions, just fire them up, fire them at us. We'll do our best to answer them. So we also visited some Bovis, didn't we? Yes, um, we went to Honeyvale Gardens. Ooh. We actually started off in Staffordshire, didn't we? We did that day. Yeah. Um, we tried to get you some. We're trying to get some. Gosh, remind me where else we went because I can't remember. Well, this there is were so many. Well, we started off in uh, at Bovis at Stafford. They had a one off a one off house type that. Um, that we thought we needed to get done. Um, I won't say what they are. I'll leave that as a surprise mm, for you. Yeah. Surprise. Um, and then we headed from from Stafford. We headed straight up into Cheshire. Um, we went straight to Northwich. Mm -hmm. um, we did that, and then we did quite a lot around um, around the Northwich area. Um, so we've got such a lot of Cheshire to do. So I'd imagine we're going to be hanging around in Cheshire for quite a while, actually. Well, look, Graham says he's moving to Cheshire next week. Oh, che are you? Oh, yeah. From he's from from Essex. Oh, hang on a minute. Cheshire housewives. Yes. The only way is Essex. <laughs> My two favourite programmes. Yeah. Personally, I think they're tripe. But there you, there you go. Um. So so yes. Yeah, so Stephen said he's from Marsden Park. So he's got. Oh, he's got a Barrett's Warwick. How beautiful is that house? Oh, nice. um, I remember actually viewing one at Mount Mar uh, Bank Waters um, in Cheshire. Cheshire. Beautiful house. Oh, you're so lucky having a house like that. Yeah. With a house like that, you need a lot of furniture. Yeah, to to uh, a lot of furniture to uh, to fill it up, don't you? Um, so you'll have the same where we're in Northwich. So um, at the moment, I'm kind of working on a schedule um, to try and get as many as we can around around that area. Um, you know, um, let's just have a look. Yes. So we've got, yep, so Leanne's from North Hund uh, Northumberland. Mm -hmm. I think we're only about five or six counties from Northumberland yeah, as it, part it, of our tour north. Yeah. We do plan to get up there at some point. Yeah, well, well, as I was saying, what we're trying to do now is we are trying to be more systematic um, about what counties. So we are, unfortunately, we won't be doing much... We were not 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 going to be doing a great deal down south, are we now? Down the, from south not, from the Midlands. Not before next year, I don't think. But we are. We've got a bit of a full schedule, haven't we, between now and Christmas? Yes. Yeah. We've got we've got a couple of bovis sites to to do um, down that way um, in the near future, um, but we're not we're not sort of planning anything. Well, the thing is, you and then guys. We, we are going north, aren't we? Then? Yeah, you so, guys, yeah. you you guys have been really treated with the southern developments, really. So mm. we've got a couple. You know, it's it's only fair that we head up north, isn't it? Really. I think so well, we've been to one end of the country, haven't we? So yeah. We're, uh, yeah, yeah. 
So I'm doing, as you know, I do a lot of the scheduling of the of, of where we go because Emma kind of doesn't know one development from the other, do you? Thanks. But no, I know you don't, do you? I think he needs the look, doesn't he? The look. Give me the look. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, you source you source the development. Well, all the developers come to us. Yeah. Um, and then I decide when. Yeah. And sort it out. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, um, so I actually work out work out this. So what I'm plan what we're planning is this. Um, this is my this is potentially our county route north. So at the moment we're working on Cheshire, so we're probably going to be visiting Cheshire maybe another t another two times to to get um, when we what did we do last last time eight nine videos mm. eight, eight nine Something like that. houses on the last trip. Um, and believe it or not, that's a full day of filming, isn't it? Yeah, that's. I think the most we've ever done in one day is about 14. And it was quite funny. We had to cut our trip. And that was running around them. <laughs> it was, yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, somebody said to us on, on a message earlier on, they said that, congratulations, because we're taking our time around the reviews. Oh. So we are actually taking on board what you guys say to us. Yeah. And we are trying to slow down a little bit with, with the reviews and try and give you, but I especially... Yeah. Filming, I try and give you a bit more of a pan of the room there. Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 so you we know. do listen. Is this a bit weird when you're doing a review because you you see the review as the room, but I see the I see the house, the rooms through a little tiny LCD screen. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, it's it's a bit it's, it's a bit awkward. Um, let's have a look what we got. Oh, my mate Dave, Dave is watching. Yes, Dave, I reckon we should come up to York, work our way up there. Um, you know, yeah. it'd be, be good. Yep, so what we're planning to do is we're planning to go from Cheshire um, into Liverpool and Merseyside, um, then over to Manchester. I think we're going Sheffield way as well, aren't yes, we? Yes, we are. Um, uh, Manchester. At the end of the month, yeah. Lancashire, um, then into Northumberland, then across to North um, Newcastle and Pontine yeah. and that way, and then hopefully we'll get up to Scotland at some point um, with you. So we'll Maybe do, um, not before Christmas, though. I yeah. think that will be early next year. Yeah. Sharon said, will we do um, Wiltshire and Dorset? It's funny about Wiltshire and Dorset because we've almost skirted around those, haven't we? We've, what, like, mm. you know, we've, we've kind of, they're the only ones. Actually, in the office, we've got, a, like, a map of map yeah. of England and well, each go. county we've got has got a pin in it. <laughs> it's quite funny, yeah. yours is missing. But... I think probably it will be early next year. I mean, you think we're only... I don't know how many weeks it is till Christmas. What is it, 12? Yeah. 16 weeks till Christmas? Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know. Yeah. Less than that. So when I say it would be after Christmas, it's not that long, no. really. Um, and, and we've got quite a full schedule before then. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we're not, unfortunately, we're not... And then not, we try and squeeze in a few more in between. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not, we, you know, towards towards the next few weeks, we're not probably going to be... We're actually uh, planning to move house okay. as well. So you know how stressful that is. Yeah. So um, not to but, a new build, but we have got a nice um, selection backed up, so yeah, we, we can get. We won't we, run out. Yeah, we'll drip feed you the videos as they as they come. So guys, any any videos that you've seen recently that grabbed your fancy? What what you know? What which ones did you think you really liked out of the the recent ones we've done? Um, oh, uh, Stephen says he. Um, he watches it with a cup of tea in the evening on the living room TV. That's what we do, isn't it? We no. watch other people. We don't. Yeah, well, I do. What you what, what watch what? Uh, YouTube. What you? Yeah, you are what you on do the watch TV, other people's I, YouTube's, I don't do, you? Yes, I like to watch other YouTubers. Yeah, I do. But uh, do you know it's I a funny it it's a funny thing. Do we actually? It's interesting actually. Do we sit and watch our videos our own? Um. I don't. I think we because should because I watch them thirty times while I'm actually making mm. them and editing them. So I I know them word for word actually. So um, do you see things in the videos that that you forgot about what happened when we when we were actually filming? Yeah, them? sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. 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 Or I've forgotten how nice a house was. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, sometimes we've seen so many that by the time you've come out of one and gone into the next one, I've forgotten about the one we've just been in. Because yeah. I'm concentrating on the one that we're in. Yeah. That's, that's usually what happens, yeah. isn't it? And it's not until I watch them back that I think, oh, yeah, forgot about that. Yeah. 
So what do you think the nicest house we've been in, we've reviewed on the last sort of batch for the Biggles Wade lot? Ooh. Kia, I think. Yeah. At Pop, the that key, was absolutely beautiful. That big detached the big house. Kia was one. that a Mayfair? Yes, it was, wasn't it? That was gorgeous. Yeah, the Kia Mayfair. Um, I mean, obviously that was the first time we brought you any any Kia, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, they were nice. It was. It was. It was weird, hadn't it? We'd done a Kia development a long, 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 long time ago, and it what I mean, really didn't kind of like. like it was shocking. Yeah. It it was. Yeah, it was actually. Um, in the Midlands it was. Mm -hmm. And that kind of put us off going to them again. But um, boy, have Kia grown up, you know. And they're not actually a well-known house builder, Kia, aren't. Um, but they are quite a big house builder, actually. They're everywhere, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, they, they are. are. But they're actually quite... quite but they're stick. kind of under the radar a little bit. They're not as yeah. mainstream yeah. as Persimmon and Barrett and what have you. But they're there. So um, Sharon's asked us a question here. What are the most important points to consider when buying a house? Do you know, right, we can answer that first time because we have just bought a house, haven't we? But is Sharon talking about a new build? She probably is because that's what we are. But So what are the points to... The key was lovely and you found the washing machine. Oh, does that say... Does that say yeah, is that Kia? Yeah, Kia was lovely, and you found the washing machine. Yeah, because you were looking for the washing machine, weren't you? No, the washing machine was broken and in the middle of the kitchen. Yes, that's right, isn't it? Oh, yeah, so you remember that, don't you? Don't you? Um, yeah, so, so, um, what, yeah. so what are the most important points to consider when buying a house? Right, well, I think... Personally, well, I don't know. Because if, if Sharon's asking about new builds... She is, obviously. Well, I've she's never on, bought she's on Sharon's build. online. I've never bought a new build, so... Well, well I think the things to consider are... Mm. are Especially when we're looking around, that, around a new build. Well, actually, that's what we look. We do. We look around the new builds and we think... Actually, you know, it's important to... Well, maybe we need to ask them. Because what? the viewers are the people that buy the houses. Yeah, the okay, then. Builds. Look yeah. at this. Look at this. Yeah. Are new or old? Yeah. Mm. Well, I think... They say, don't they, location, 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 but, um, do you know, I think when you, even if you're buying an older house, I think it's really important to visit that house certain times of the day, just to see what the traffic noise, the traffic is like. Mm. Um, for instance, we've bush bought a house and, um, there's, there's a little, at the bottom of the cul-de-sac, there's like a little amateur football, um, like thing there where, where kids play football um so we decided to pop there on the sun on the saturday and actually see because they said oh there's like lots of road cones out um so we went to see on the saturday what it was like and it wasn't actually that bad no it was okay. um you know but in terms of buying a new house i think you've really got to look you know i wouldn't be don't ever go into buying a new house thinking it's going to be perfect um because you know, you're going to get snagging. I think one thing a lot of people that buy new builds say to us is that you have to expect snags, yeah. don't you? Yeah. But the issue is not necessarily the snags or the snagging. It's how quickly the developer responds to it and gets it sorted. Yeah, that's it. That's what most people say is their yeah. biggest and some developers, concern. Uh, some developers and are, some are better than others. Yeah. Yeah, um, and I did do a live a live chat about that. If you, if you look on the Facebook page about mm. about the reasons behind um, shoddy bills, is there anything else we can think of that we that that we think that people should look for when buying a new build? Um, I think as well, saleability on a property as well. Really, you know, in, in you know, making sure you know what's in the area, what's on offer in the area. Make sure you don't pay too much. But then sometimes with new builds, they are built in an area where it's either been regenerated or there might be nothing. It might be a whole new village yeah. that started from scratch. So it's quite a, a wide question, isn't it? It depends where you're buying, what you're buying, who's building it. Yeah. So there's lots of different considerations with it, I think. Yeah, and that's it. But, and and you ultimately, know, people buy a house because they like the style of house it's what they can afford you know it's what they want to pay they might like the developer and it's where they're moving to isn't I it i say don't take too much notice of all of these um well don't take too much notice of the show home 
Yeah, yeah, you Ultimately. know. But don't take too much notice of what other people say on the internet about it as well. Everybody's experience is different um, with with house builders. So, you know, if certain house builders get slated. Um, well, that's the thing, isn't it? You only ever hear about the unhappy people, and you don't hear about the thousands and thousands of people that buy houses that are okay yeah. and their snugs get sorted. Yeah. Um, Leanne asked, Le Leanne's asked um, are we, mm -hmm. do we have any Miller homes um, coming soon? Well, we haven't. Um, we I know that I'm factoring some Miller Homes developments into my Cheshire special, um, so we are trying to to get some Miller on the Miller on the site. However, um, I know that they've got a development in Shrewsbury near, near where we live, mm. um, which we're going to try and do. We'll try and get round to. Them. Can you believe we've got developments our own in our, our own own town. own town, which we haven't had time to 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 go and do really. Yeah. So yes, um, we. There are there are some Miller in Miller homes in the pipeline, um, and we've got a question from Sonia: Do new builds increase in value at the same rate of older houses? I think they they. I don't know. I I think they're I pretty much know. the same, really. I mean, look what we were looking at new builds, really. I think I I don't know about that about value, but what what does surprise me sometimes is when developments are finished or not even finished is sometimes how many of them are up for sale yeah you know so they might be people that moved in on the first phase or you know just after often move on quite yeah. quickly for instance I, think. I i i saw um while we were looking for a house a red row warwick in telford i think it was on about one eight it was a free free bedroom warwick it was on about one eight seven nine fifty mm. and i thought that's really cheap for that so you know really cheap for I that. should imagine it was on for more than uh, that they would have paid yeah, much just more seemed... than that when it was built yeah so I think a lot of people which was only last year that yeah. site was completed yeah. wasn't it yeah yeah I think the turnaround on new builds is very quick isn't it you know, know. Yeah. a lot there are a lot on a but state I, but agency I suppose it's people's circumstances isn't it you know they might buy a house because of their job or whatever and things change yeah. People move. That's it. That's, that's life. Um, message. Um, a a question from Charmaine. Um, she said, "Do you prefer the fish eye lens on your videos?" Do you know we we, we we as I said to you last time, we have brought a brand new camera, a very expensive camera, um, which will eradicate the well, fish eye completely. The the fish eye is the GoPro, and we haven't used that. Yeah. To film inside a house for about 12 months no so maybe the videos that you see with the fish eye are the older the videos. older ones the the, the new ones don't have yeah it. the cam the movie cam that we use at the moment um the movie cam we use at the moment it has got a very slight tint of fish eye but it's nowhere near no. what and it's more about getting in as much of the yeah. room as, as it can and when we're on a really gruelling show home schedule we we need to have a backup camera for battery purposes as well um, you know, so it, yeah. it's just one of those things. I've just seen that Stephen's asked about the outtakes. <laughs> actually, I was put. I was actually. I've, we've just done this massive um, changeover on the computer now. I've met, I've got. I, I've, I treated Emma to a a bigger monitor so she can edit the videos better. <laughs> he knows how to treat a woman, doesn't he? Yeah, so we've got a new, we've just updated all the computer, we've got a better computer, etc. You know, we're, don't forget guys, we're developing this yeah. all the time, aren't we? You know? Now look at that, Jason's asked an interesting question. Outtake video, though, is coming for Christmas. I am putting it together. Oh gosh. Yeah, hi guys, this is what Jason says. Is there any developers that won't let you do a review, but you are desperate to review? Well, I'm being honest here because I hope they're watching and they do watch it. Um, we've got an issue with Red Row Midlands at the moment mm. um, and Red Row Homes Midlands uh, division. We did a review for them and they're developing at the Coppice in Telford. And I don't know if you've seen the video where the handles fall off the, um, off, the, kitchen. Off the kitchen cupboards. Brand new um, kitchens. And they've got quite a lot of development in in the in the region a lot of house types yeah. um and they basically said that they don't didn't want us reviewing their houses um you know and you have to remember that these developers i'll get you know they get we get get them thousands of people looking at their houses mm. every every week um so they're one developer um, but i wouldn't say we were desperate 
no red row we're not no um, and we we've been in plenty of red rows elsewhere yeah haven't we yeah do you know um, we don't have much trouble getting it getting in we, show we don't, do we, we don't have any trouble you know. anywhere actually no and most of the time they know who we are yeah and I'll they know what, that we're coming it is really weird now when you go when you could just go from one part of the country to the other and they know who you are mm. it's um you know it's it's a bit surreal um that's but, the beauty of youtube isn't it yeah mm -hmm. yeah um, right, so Ashley, Ashley says, just bought us some modern home, spent hours watching your videos before oh, buying. Mm. Now listen, I want, uh, that's interesting what because... What sort? Yeah. What sort of some modern house? What I want you to do for us, as little, a little favour for us, I want you to tweet Mar um, St. Modwin Homes and tell them exactly what you've just said there. Um, because we're just sort of on the, we have done, we're on the crooks of working with them. Um, but I think they need to oh, push yeah. in the right direction. Yeah. 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 Um, so, you know, I would, that, I would, that would be great if you could send that to Sir Modwin and say that you've, you've reviewed our videos and stuff. Because Sir Modwin have actually been quite supportive of us, haven't yes. they, actually? Yeah. And invited us to go to their development in Oxbridge, which yeah. was at, the one with the hot tub on the roof, which yeah. was beautiful yeah so we'd like to work with them again though. yes but i think they yeah. just need a little bit of a push forward there so yeah. tweet them for us because that's it guys if you want us to review any developments that you don't see yeah. send them a tweet or a facebook message and just say you should get these yeah, guys around happen. you know yeah. um so that that's that's um mm -hmm. no so okay but um so yeah i love your red row reviews yeah um what uh, now in cheshire there, are, there is a show village. A Mirren, sorry. A Mirren? <laughs> it was a Mirren, yes. Mirren. We did a Mirren, yes. You did, yeah. We at, did at, a um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But those videos are a bit dated now. We really like to do the St. Bob report. Yeah, and we know more. that they've got them on other developments. Yeah, they have. yeah. Send them a message. Mm. Um, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, our Red Row reviews. Now, as I was saying about our Cheshire special, I have seen a development that has got seven show homes seven red row show homes three four and five bedroom houses now we're going to uh we're going to pay that a visit very soon um i think it's called woodford garden village i think it is um that's in practically Cheshire. a whole day's filming just on red row yes i'd have to take some sandwiches yes yes <laughs> and you probably noticed that we've got some red row ones on the apart the snapshots one um and that was because we'd had some audio issues with yeah, that yeah we, we did but we're hoping to replace them with um with, with decent decent videos for those yeah um now sharon says have you any developers ask you to landscape their gardens it's quite funny um because i was saying to i was saying to uh bobis that um i would be interested um in actually designing because i'm not i don't know how many of you know that me and emma run the landscape gardening company as well um we emma designs gardens and i build them um and actually quite funny this week we've actually gone to a somebody who watches show homes online and watched our videos um and he wanted a his garden on simon in Oswald street so if you're watching simon hello um but yeah that would be one of the ultimate things for me for us to design and build a show house mm. garden that would be that would be pretty we do damn see good. some absolutely beautiful gardens don't we yeah we also see some others that they've put no effort in at all yeah that's it so it's a bit of both so stephen says do you book a special slot for viewing and do families try to get in on the video <laughs> most of the time they know we're coming yeah and they will hold customers in the sales center while we film yeah. um and they're very good about that most developers are very good um because sometimes we never know how long it's going to take do we we've got a kind of approximate time it usually takes i don't know 45 minutes on average to do a house do you remember doing um but sometimes it can take a little bit longer and sometimes we're a bit late so we can never say when we're going to turn up we tell them the day but yeah. we don't always tell them the time do you remember doing that show home and we were in that show home and um in cheshire and um i seem to remember we were we were in there and a guy walked in and he was the owner of the house he bought that show home hadn't he and we were doing a video tour of it do you remember that in cheshire no. yeah it was a long time ago oh. um yeah and then we had one where a a 
a customer who bought who'd actually bought a house asked us to review the house um for them and get our take on them this was david wilson homes in um Bagridge village in in the midlands and they uh, wouldn't let us in they, they, yeah she was really snotty with us wasn't she Ooh, yeah interesting yeah um oh hello richard sorry you're late oh we well, can look back on what we've said later on i'll i'll upload it to youtube at um at, at, at some point so i'm just trying to get down the videos um um same here um my son watched a lot of video persimmon homes that's how we find you um yeah so yes P persimmon are actually one of our most watched videos aren't they they are they're very popular um I because mean, i think there's a lot of people buying persimmon houses yeah i'd be a bit very interested to um i'm very interested to know which persimmon house type they uh that your son bought um, just want to say hello to Martin Wedge. Um, good to see you on the channel. He is um, he is the proud owner of I think it's a Red Row, oh, Red, Red Row Oxford, wasn't it? Beautiful interior design I've seen in his pictures. But Matt, a man with exquisite taste, uh, Martin has. Um, let's just have a look down now. Uh, um, could you show more potential buyers around? Could you show more potential buyers around the homes? Similar to the guy who show who Steve showed um, around who was looking to buy. And sorry, I'm just trying to work that one out. Um, That's the help to buy video then. Yes. I suppose it's it, it's difficult really because we're only there for a very short period and we're not we're not usually in that place again, are we? I think that's what the sales negotiators are for, and they know far more about these things than we do because yeah. you'd need explicit detail about the sales and 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 how that all works so that's not really our remit yeah but I, you know we were sort of playing with the idea and talking about the idea of maybe doing a pilot um for a tv program um because mm. your trouble is with you got the likes of phil and kirsty but nobody ever covers new homes no, um, rarely. Yeah. yeah i think i'd have to lose a bit of weight first i'm not quite camera and um, i'm not quite tv ready yet am i <laughs> oh god um and uh let's have a look through um yeah jonathan ah jonathan lives on the um stuart milne development that we um reviewed um in northwich uh last week this week yes yes so he lives in one of those houses oh, yeah yes, he was nice. going to invite us for a cup of tea there but he was at work oh well yeah was, I thought they were lovely. They were beautiful, yeah. They were. Very I, nice. I tell you what, they were, for me, they were kind of, I don't know, like houses used to be. Um, there were yeah. some like quirky nice. bits in there, like the cabinets and stuff, weren't there? Yeah. I think the first house, the La Larriston, is it? The Larriston was yeah, fantastic. Larriston. What a beautiful house. Yeah. But oh, yeah, yes. I bet you can't. I bet you can't wait for those to come online, can you? So much you look forward to, isn't it? Mm. Um and uh, oh deborah's there uh do you get first dibs on show home furniture hi deborah i wish we did <laughs> i can imagine that i wish <laughs> believe it or not we've actually our house we bought we've actually bought the some of the furniture off the because we this house we bought was actually almost put put it was almost like a show home wasn't it color coordinated it was beautiful, it was beautiful. And, and we bought it because we haven't got to do any work to it because no. we don't have time no we've got to do anything I would no. say we could just move our furniture in, but we haven't and even got to do that because we bought this. <laughs> and before you ask, no, there's not going to be a tour. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, yes. Um, yeah, he's reserved a, Ken a Kendall, but was considering um, several house types. Yeah, I mean, you know, persimmon are, persimmon are a, a, they are a good, they are a good, they are a good house builder. They, they fit the purpose, don't they? Mm. Um, they fit the purpose, don't they? Um, I just just don't think the houses look very nice. I just don't think they've got that that curb appeal, really. But some of them, they they get. We sold. have seen some persimmons that they've really put a lot of effort into. Yeah, Leanne was. Um, she said she'd been looking at the Taylor Wimpy Downham. Yeah, again, we're trying to uh, trying to get as many Taylor Wimpy house types. So again, um, I know there's a Downham um, on the on the cheshire site so we'll be able to mm. take a look at that but that's a really good look good a good four bed house that is with um an integral garage very nice indeed all oh, these 
these mm. questions are coming thick and fast now. Any funny stories? Recently, yeah. gosh, I can't think. There was you with the tiger. Did ah, that's a good oh, the, thing. Was really. it a tiger? It was a tiger. The lion. Did anybody see the Taylor Wimpy Langdale video? Um, with the safari with bedroom. the safari bedroom and me being viciously attacked by the lion mm. um, but i called it a tiger in emma i don't i can't even remember what it was i think it was a yeah was it a lion or was it a tiger <laughs> did anybody, did anybody say that because that's an interesting question isn't it actually how many people watch our videos from start to finish um i think you asked that last time actually yeah. and most people said yeah but if they did, did the but if they did they would have seen that they would have seen that wouldn't they here's me mm. um any no funny stories really believe me i cut a lot of it out with the tiger there was an awful lot more it had to go that'll be in the outtakes no it won't <laughs> have you got rid of it <laughs> no it was a usual thing pull your t-shirt down pull your t-shirt down steve yeah. all, all of that really um actually though at the front of those houses there was the most beautiful stag it? no it was giraffes wasn't it yeah. metal sculptured giraffes because yeah. it was close to the safari park beautiful full height ones in a kind of little enclosure i think i took some pictures of it they're on on the video absolutely beautiful the effort that they'd gone to with those yeah really it's just some show homes they really do pull the stops yeah. out really and just do something really that was really, really nice yeah i think david wilson have to be the best for, for show home frontages really you know like sometimes not always yeah, okay, okay, mm. right. Um, oh, so Deborah said she's been in her Revra house for two years and hasn't decorated yet. It was nice though, your house, Deborah. It was, we like, yeah, yeah, we did like it. It was, it was, it was really nice. nice. Um, now, Lawrence says, what points should you, what points should you watch out for uh, with developers like Revro? I hear they're, I'll hear they're good. Do you know what? I think you have to put due diligence with all developers, really. Just you just got to remember that you're putting your hard-earned money on the table, aren't you? You're you just do it. a Google search on any developer, yeah. and every, you'll just come back with the same thing. There you isn't know. one that doesn't yeah. get some negativity. Yeah. Um, even the five-star builders. There's always somebody that wasn't happy. But just you know, the, but the, there are lots of people that are. Yeah. But the five, the the five, the five star builders, it's all based on how many, yeah. um, how much customer feedback that they've got, how much positive customers. So mm. the star rating, um, you know, is 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 interesting. But you know, I think a lot of developers are working on clearing up, you know, trying to. And the ones that lose their stars are quite upset about it, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Mm. You know, and it's I suppose it's like the Michelin, it's like the Michelin star, it's like the four star, isn't it? You know. Um, losing your stars but mm. you know it gives you something to work towards about getting them yeah. getting them back doesn't yeah. it really um, and there's always a good reason why they lost them yeah yeah um that's mm. mainly due to customers not filling out the form saying they were particularly um they were to keep tickets up so sharon's asking us there about help to buy and i can't comment well, actually, if you, any of you guys have seen the How to Buy Scheme video that I did um, with, with, with the lad Jason, um, he actually got turned down for that. Um, he, he's got Help to Buy got turned down. He did, yeah. Um, I mean, it was all very exciting at the start, you know. And, um, and that was to do with mortgage, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. And um, I think it's really important. So um, that I would be interested to know what you guys think of it. Have you bought your house using the scheme or not um because there are so many different schemes aren't there there is part exchange there's um there's downsizers schemes there's all sorts of different yeah incentives that developers offer their own and the, you know in their own names etc don't they, they yes do, you know they do their, yeah, they their, do own, their own, own things and s some of them do schemes for the armed forces yeah yeah yeah. All sorts of things. Yeah. Have you purchased a house using one of those? I'd just be interested to know. Yeah, I mean, I think Bovis and Bellway are leaders in, in armed forces. Yeah. Um, counts, we, we, yeah, you know, we that's, that's one of them. That. So that's Cass nice. says, stay, stay well clear of help to buy. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, go on. 
Uh, yes, I'm just trying to get these questions. Yeah, so Stephen said, do you remember when you did your first video and what the house was? Do you remember when we first met? I don't remember. No. No, I've done so many. No, but do you remember when we first met? What did, where did you, we were in Shrewsbury, and where did I take you to? I said, "Come on, let's go on a date." And where did we go to? Didrington. <laughs> David Wilson at home. David Wilson. So, what did you think then? I thought it was nice because I hadn't been in a show home for a long time, although I wouldn't want to live there necessarily. But yeah, I mean, I can't remember what it's called. You might be a little bit interested to actually know a little bit about behind how how show homes online happened, actually, um, because before Emma, um, I actually used to do, um, you know, we used to review houses with a with a lad I I used to know a good friend of mine called Richard Hoffman. Ian's on there. Hi, Ian. Hi, Ian. Good to see you. Um, yeah, um, I used to do it with a lad called Richard Hoffman, um, and a lot of you probably don't realise we actually have got we had another channel called New Homes Historian. Sharon, go on, keep going. Yeah, we had a we had a channel called New Homes Historian, um, where I'll actually a lot of our really really early early videos are on there, and some with Emma um, were on there, um, and that's still that's still open now, but it's kind of oh god. Yeah, she has. She was just having a little sleep. Carry on. Yeah. Um, Lee Blower. <laughs> Who's that guy? Oh, he's that guy. Yeah, Lee Blower. Lovely lad. He's bought one of those um, huge Charles Church houses. The um, One of the big six-bedroom ones. You know, I'd love to have one of those. Um, anyway, you're digressing. Yeah, I was on about right. where, it, where it happened. Yes. And um, then I... So what we used to do is we never used to video and we used to write a written review um, and then I met Emma and actually Emma straightened things out a little bit because we started off a little, when Emma met me we were doing critical reviews, we were called the show house inspectors <laughs> and yeah it probably didn't go down really that well really because it's, um, but we did and then Emma kind of got involved in it and sort of went right let's change this. We changed the name to Show Homes Online. That was my idea, and we were only discussing that today. You said you oh, did. Thanks. You you didn't like the name. No, I do. I do. <laughs> um, but actually, I think the the name Show Homes Online was probably one of the best things that I ever did with it. Um, and uh, it's uh, and then obviously then you nice. came and looked at a few video. You came and looked at a few houses, didn't you? Yes. What did you think about it back then? I thought it was interesting. <laughs> And it was just deciding, yeah, what we were going to do with it, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's. Yeah, and it's, um, it's, you know, we've still got a long way to. Developing. We've still yes. got a long, long way to go, yeah, haven't we? Really, you know. Someone's just asked about Roxy. Yeah, Deborah's. Um, Deborah's asked um, will we, about about Milton Keynes. Um, yeah, I mean, we need to come back to Milton Keynes. Um, mm. Still, one of my most favourite places. I, I love Milton Keynes. I love it. I'd live there if I could. Um, I just love it. But we, I, I do keep track of all of the developments in Milton Keynes, so I know, I know what's going on. You know, and we'll be, we will be back up there. It's about time we did that David Wilson owned one up there, really, and the Charles Church one we did at the top when we went. It was closed. Yes. Um, right, Sharon's asking about Roxy. Oh, it's horrible. Now, it? I remember the best house we went in that had got a dog house. This is, a, this is, and that is a licking machine. Yeah, she's a poop. I'll tell you what, it's all right when you've got postage stamps, you know, you can just, oh, that's done. She is a chihuahua cross with Jack Russell. Yeah. Um, we went to Cress Nicholson at Abode, and they had a purpose-built dog house under the stairs, didn't they? Yeah. With a little entrance, it was absolutely beautiful, and it was all kitted out. Part of the show homes online doggy team. She is. Yeah, mm, that's it. That's yeah. it. Um, yeah. Well, did we have a cup of tea at Deborah's last time? I think we did. Yeah. We might. Yeah, we yeah. did. We did. I think she's had a garden son done since then. Um, yeah. I mean, yes, yeah, Stephen. There's so many different big develop. There's, there's, I tell you what. There are so many huge developments coming soon. Like, you know, 
uh, massive, Jeez, massive developments um, that, are, that are coming soon. So a lot of villages, which I'm keeping my eye on. Um, I mean, there's certain places that we want to go, like Sherford, Sherford Village. Um, I think that's in... I think that may be in Dorset. I think next year we plan to spend even more time than we do now. Yeah. We're going to buy there's a... so many different places to go. Yeah. No, don't give away any surprises. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> there's a lot of things coming next so, year. It's all right. Let's see. What, what show homes online in 2018? Oh, I can't say. What do you think it's going to be? I would like to see... I would like the quality to be better on the videos. I really, I really like to kind of improve on... All of that sort well, of thing. Yeah, that's a developing yeah. thing, isn't it, as we go along. And I also think there's, there's there's a massive, massive... You did, Chloe. You've missed her. She's gone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's all there's a massive, massive amount of people that still don't know we we, we exist. Um, mm. And a lot of developers still don't know we exist, really. I mean, you know, the amount of developers that are in the UK alone... Yeah. Hundreds and thousands of different developers, isn't there? She's gone, Chloe. She's gone. Gone out. She's gone. Um, Roxy superstar. Yeah. And um, Cass said, "Do you do you guys need inviting by the developers, or you, do you choose?" It's we, a bit of both. Yeah, we do. We do like. We would like to. Um, we would like to be invited more, though. If, it's nice feeling. Yes, being invited. and if it's some, if it's a developer that we haven't done before, then yes really yeah um we don't we don't like to turn up unannounced yeah do we well guys it's up to you as well to you know because we do this for you and and you know yeah. if you if you have been inspired by us or you 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 like it you know get on twitter and send them a send them a tweet saying you know get yeah. get show yeah. online down there they do listen and they probably are aware of us ah the laura the harborer we nearly did one this week we were st we 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 had a little of an issue with the house we were buying and we were in cheshire and I, we parked outside it and we were about to do that barrett harbour but we had to go home it never got done so we will return to do it we did do it we was we did have plans to do it for you we did. um but we will be going back there in the next couple of weeks so yes is the answer jonathan's asked this question again you're trying to get a shot that Jonathan is, I tell you. Your least favourite builder. Mm. It's difficult, isn't it? Because I know, I know, I know what it is, but it's still a dare say it. No. Because again, it's not up to us to have an opinion on what the viewers are buying. But you've got we, you know who I don't like. You know that. We like houses with character. I've already said it. To, I've already said it today, haven't I? To you, I've already said it. Yeah, um, mm. yeah, Lawrence. You said we we haven't seen a Jones Homes review. That is correct, you know. And yeah. um, Jones Homes is quite a, che a Cheshire Cheshire based company, so that will be factored into our our Cheshire trip, you know. Um, so expect to be drowned by Cheshire reviews. Um, Expect to be drowned by Cheshire reviews, including including Jones Homes, um, and we'll we'll just we'll be as thorough as we can. But we've got some beautiful houses on the way, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, Leanne. There's two. So Leanne and Leanne and Kaz have mentioned. Um, we've got Strata and Story Homes. I have actually been emailing them from time to time about about doing their reviews. Um, I, I think some, I think some developers kind of feel it's a little, it's still very amateur, um, but that's how we want it to be, isn't it? We want it to be to appeal to you because, at the end of the day, you're either going to watch us or you'll watch the developer snazzy corporate videos that cost them thousands to make. Mm. You know, or well, you I think watch them as well. Yeah, you know, um, um, you'll get something different out of those. Yeah, that's it, really. Um, yeah, we, we and she said we were able to decide on our Taylor Wimpy Aldenham or our, our Brook too. Thanks for your videos. Yeah, it is funny, isn't it? Do you know uh, the Brook and the Aldenham? Ardingham. In, Ardingham. Interesting story there because that actually used to be called the. Um, that was an old design by McLean. 
Midlands. Um, and Taylor Wynne, it's got an actual heritage that house type has, pre-merger with, with Taylor Wimpy. Um, but actually, have you seen the Ardingham where it's actually on, on a development in Lawley, it's actually got a balcony um, in the bedroom at the top over the, over and, and it's got a bay window. I absolutely love the brook. I, I just love it. I just think it's such a compact little house. And there's so much. I mean, you put the brook up against the Rufford by Taylor, by, by Persimmon. Persimmon. Just a beautiful house. Mm -hmm. um, Come here, Pooch. Come here. Come here. Yeah, oh. Stephen said it is, it is about um, opening the cupboards and the doors and we don't get that from developers' videos. It's funny the developers that we work with as well actually say that they'll say you know that yeah. we that it's actually because you do do that you know that's that what's make makes you different and the thing is as you know we haven't any preference and we review houses um totally individually don't we you we know do. we don't go in before we start filming so you see it exactly as we see it yeah you know as we do it and you know it's not pre-rehearsed or anything it is the, the you know i mean sometimes we have to take do do a take three or four times it's usually the outside bit that's your bit that's what we have to do three or four times yeah usually um because, because of, the, of the wind or a motorbike or an age, airplane or something or a wedding yes yeah we did have one where there was a wedding across the road yeah we did <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah. So, guys, I'm going to wrap this up now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed um, watching us. Um, we've got some, like I said, we've got some great, great videos coming from. Uh, we've got some from Bellway coming, and also we've got all these new, um, these Taylor Wimpies. We've got uh, ooh, loads, and loads, and loads. We've got a nice backup. Um, we might be quiet over the uh, next few, few, the next three or four weeks um, because we're obviously moving. Um, but we'll do our best to keep everything updated mm. on our Facebook page. And we are on 13 rev reviews um, on our Facebook page. Now, that's pretty unlucky. Now, we need some more reviews from yeah. you guys. So, you know, after this, after this, um, this live chat, um, would you guys go over to our Facebook? You're on our Facebook page and leave us a review about why you watch us. Thank you, Graham. Um, we will. And what, what you what you enjoy about showrooms online um and let's try and get us off 13 right because i keep looking at that number 13 thinking yeah <coughs> it's a bit unlucky and and we love to read them we, we like all the communication that we get whether it's twitter facebook instagram's been great actually we get a lot of um communication via insta um which is a lot of fun and we like that because we're quite new to it but um yeah it's been great, hasn't it? Very popular. Graham, we are actually coming up to Northwich again. Um, we 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 we're due up there. We 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 obviously have done half of Northwich. We've still got to carry on. Um, so uh, maybe we'll look you up when we uh, when we head up that way. Um, Off you do. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking. Yeah, Sonia says. What do you guys think of the local area bit that we've put in on certain videos um, that we've done? Um, do you think? Do you yeah. really need to know or do you, do you feel you need to know about local area? Do you want to see what, what's about? Do you like the drive through that we do through the development? I was just going to ask that. What, what do you think of that? You know, when we do that little drive in at the beginning um, or sometimes just a quick tour of the development, what do you think of that? But also, what else, guys, can we do that would make the videos better for you, for mm. you guys? I know people have said. And do any of you actually look in the description box? Yeah. the information that i put in down there yeah is that helpful yeah yeah i think you know is there anything that i don't put in there that you would find useful yeah what else would be good yeah um oh, a few people have said about the prices um to me yeah um that it's really difficult to get current prices isn't it sometimes yeah especially if that house type is sold out they'll often take it off the website won't they and then it's not representative to put that price if I find it on another site somewhere else, they might have a price on it there, but of course it won't be the same price as it is on the development that we reviewed. Yeah. So sometimes I have to just leave that out because it's it's not available. Yeah, but you can. And it's up for negotiation often as well. So what the price says on there is not necessarily what people have paid. Yeah, you go in there do a bit of negotiating. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. So um, yeah. 
So John said it for him. It's all about the house. Um, yeah, it's schools in the area. We do try to obviously on the video give a bit of like local information, don't we? Yeah, and sometimes it's in the description box if there's room because obviously I'm limited by the amount of characters that I can use. So I try and take what the developers yeah. said about it. Yeah, it's on about this. Um, when we're doing the the drive around and we because we obviously put music over the top of that and i think that that is this because the gopro is actually on mounted on top of the car mm -hmm. because if we have it on the inside um you won't it, you obviously you'll just see the windscreen so that's the clearest view we get of yeah. the street um but we kind of just really and that looks quite funny from the outside to see our car with a camera on the roof. It's like the Google car, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. As we drive around. And it takes some editing because you can yeah. still see the bonnet of the car and we add it yeah, off there. Yeah, I do it all, yeah. I think there's nothing better than that when it's a beautiful sun, sunny day. Um, but those will be interesting to look back on in a few years' time when those developments are finished and, and established and people are living there. Sometimes we show what it was like while it was under construction. Yeah. Yeah, so Kaz says um, the she loves the humour. What what do you think the funniest Emma and Steve moment is that you've seen on video um, that w that we've done? <laughs> um, Gosh, I should dread to think. Yeah, uh, I'm just looking now. Yeah, showing and talking. Yeah, I mean it's it's it, we you know we do try to give as much info as we possibly can, don't we? I think so. I try. I'm often distracted by shiny things i think i'm just a typical woman who likes cushions and bedding and nice ornaments and bits and pieces and interior design i suppose i pick up on the bits that interest me i try yeah. to look at the house yeah but yeah there's often lovely things that um do you guys catch my eye when i do the intro outside when i do the intro outside of the house would you like a little bit more of a view of the house some of the detail you know the detail of it and you know the brickwork the porches etc like that you know because you know i i probably prefer to do that actually you know um mm. you know right well we'll have to write um yes 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 sometimes we go around too fast <laughs> we do we sometimes but then if it's only a small house it doesn't take very long does it and some houses don't really don't really kind of float your boat do they and they kind of mm. are a bit <sighs> tell you what if you actually right. see me off camera if you actually watched me um you will see that i am you i yawn quite a lot on certain how i'm like <sighs> like that on the, on the camera because some houses just just go it just you know we're just a little bit like that you know and we do and that is it jonathan we do give an honest opinion um about houses and we just say it how it is and we let you guys as i've said before yeah. you're the critics and um, and you're the buyers yeah, ultimately as yeah. well we yeah um yeah yeah jonathan said he i'm lost i brought i, I, I am lost i brought hadley that you made leak your 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 video made me rethink on that bombshell okay almost bought the hadley ah mm. well thank you very much for watching us i think we had 20 at the most we had 20 watches there mm. which is really really good, good yeah. so we've got to spread the word guys about showrooms online and um you know tell your friends you know and uh let us let them know we're here because there's so many people who don't know and don't use us and are still going buying houses um without seeing our reviews so um you know so catch up soon eh yeah yeah after our next round of adventures you we'll can always you see what we're up to follow us on twitter mm. follow us on facebook and you'll be able to see what we are and, and where we are yeah. and one day we will do a live review from a well in fact maybe the next one we do will be from our new house our next live oh yeah yeah obviously. perhaps is, yeah we won't yeah. be doing a review of it though but yeah <laughs> yeah we might yeah. do the, the next live from there yeah we might do the next live from yeah, there we'll so wait save, your, save, save your questions thank up, you, you know. we do appreciate it we do appreciate your you, you know your you 
you watching us, you know, and I know some of you watch our videos even though you've you've bought houses and you still yeah. you stick around with us, you know. Um and we do appreciate it. Yeah. Um and we enjoy it, we enjoy your feedback. We love your questions on YouTube. I always look forward to the to seeing what questions we've comments. got on YouTube. We yeah. absolutely love that, don't we? Yeah. yeah. And we get yeah. more and more and more and we try to answer answer them. Um, no, Kaz, we're not we're not buying a new build. No, no, we're not. Um, okay, guys, have a nice evening. What's left of it? We haven't even had our tea we yet, have we? Tea. You guys come now. first, don't they? Although that's probably where Roxy's been in the kitchen. She's had it. What? Eating our tea? <laughs> Thanks yeah. for watching. Take care, guys. Don't forget, go uh, pop on our Facebook and uh, our, and leave us a review. That's dead important. Yeah. And uh, tweet those developers for us, okay? See you later. See Bye. You. Bye.